Hello everyone, this is Isabel. I'm at ITW 2024 and today I'm joined by Carl Roberts. He's an ambassador at Telecom Sans Frontières, also known as TSF. Carl, welcome to my hot seat. Thanks Isabel, great to be here and thanks for giving us the opportunity to talk about TSF. So TSF is a non-profit organization that does good, you know, in the telecom. So tell me any new initiative projects that you want to share with us? Well, look, if, first of all, it's the 25-year anniversary of TSF this yeah. year. Over that time, they've helped over 11 million people around the world, which is a huge thing. Uh, this last year alone, they've helped over 400,000 people, 128 organizations across 15 countries. And uh, unfortunately, the world has more mm. natural and man-made catastrophes. And the thing is that very often people think of TSF as, okay, they're like SWAT teams that go in when, when a bad thing happens and they provide communications and support for people and information for people to help them get through an event. But the problem is now those events don't stop. Uh, TSF teams have been in Ukraine. This is their third year now, uh, p helping um, internally displaced people, people who've got nowhere to go and they need communications, they need uh, access to information that allows them to get medical care, find loved ones, schooling for their children, communicating with loved ones elsewhere, and trying to find out how to live from day to day. I mean, it's really existential. Similarly, there's lots of migrations around the world within continents. So there's a lot of that in Latin America from Honduras and around Mexico. And TSF teams are helping people in that process, but also protecting them from um, people who exploit them. So they get access to information. There are lots of gangs of people who say, oh, for $5,000, we'll get you to the US. But the TSF teams say, watch out, this information is bad. So people stay where they are. They seek political asylum and they help them through the process. And you know, finally, um, in Syria, there's a, a lot of migration and refugees of women who are very, very vulnerable and they take their children because they're subject to gender-based violence. So there again, TSF are helping. So they help people in distress everywhere. But in addition to that, uh, they provide support on an ongoing basis uh, to for uh, digital inclusion. So for example, in Madagascar, they're working with public authorities to have computers and internet connections in schools so they can make the children computer literate and internet literate. So it's a worthy cause, but as you can see, it goes on and on in time. Unfortunately, there's more and more distress and there's more and more need for support for TSF. So but why is it so important for the industry to support TSF? I know they're doing some great initiatives, but why is it important for the industry to take part in that? TSF is our NGO. It is the only NGO that is linked to telecoms. And in events like this, you know, we've got the leaders of the world telecommunication industry, and we talk about how we're going to deal with AI, how we're going to deal with NAS, how we're going to deal with, you know, cloud everything. And yet the other end of the spectrum is people who need telecommunication, telecommunication connectivity to live to the next day, to the next week. And that's all ours. And we should be fully behind this because it's what we do, right? It's what we do. And what I'd love to see is on the website of TSF. I'd love to see a hundred carrier logos, and maybe that would be a great aspiration to get them there to support these efforts more and more. And you know, one important point, because often people think, yeah, but where does the money go? Less than 10% of what goes to TSF is to run the organization. Every single other cent goes to helping people directly. That's a great achievement. I must say that's very important. I think that thank you for mentioning that. So people out there, they're convinced they need to help. How can they help? Well, look, um, you can go to the TSF website. So uh, tsf.org. 
Uh, you'll find details of how you can contribute. We also have programs at different clip levels because it's not just about contributing money and obviously very welcome for that. But we also realize that it's important for companies to get something back. So with the help of Capacity, you know, ITW, GLF and Capacity Media and um, with Jamie Scotto and with uh, 26.5, We've got media packages together that give a platform for carriers to sh share not just what they're doing with TSF, but also what they're doing in a broader CSR ESG environment. So you get something back, but it, this is all about giving. And there are a lot of really needy people out in the world who need connectivity. It's what we do, and that's what we need to do a lot more of. It's a win-win. I mean, there's it's no a, losers in that equation. No, it's a total win-win. Yeah, absolutely. Carl, thank you. Thank you for being a great ambassador, as always, you know, and thank you for sharing this important message. Okay, well, thank you for giving us this platform, which is a very well, well followed platform, so it's much appreciated. Thanks a lot, Isabel. Everyone, thank you for watching, and until my next hot shot. <laughs>